वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू क्लास इलेवन इंग्लिश क्लासेस कंडक्टेड बाय योर इंग्लिश टीचर मोनिका कौर बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद हॉन बिल आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल चैप्टर टू वी आर नॉट अफ्रेड टू डाई इफ वी कैन ऑल बी टूगेदर पार्ट फोर Welcome students to class 11 English part 4 Hornbill chapter number 2 we are not afraid to die if we can all be together written by garden cook and allen east okay today students we are going to do page 3 summary with that the relatable textual expression as well as the relatable vocabulary of the summarized uh, that page okay so let's start but before that recapitulate the uh, that uh, story hurriedly the actually the story starts with that when they had uh, started their traveling the author and the family in july 1976 they had a very very nice traveling up to the kilometer 1 lakh 5000 to the west coast of south africa and cape town from there they had to head towards the southern uh, that ocean so that's why they had uh, made the two very experienced crew members to join them and that was Larry Wiesel and Herb Sigler they went towards to the east of course uh, that uh, east of uh, cape town and there only within the two days the weather conditions had been uh, worsened it was an atrocious weather condition so but still then their zeal was so high that they celebrated new year and christmas uh, under that atrocious condition only with the hope that that the weather would going to uh, to uh, that uh, settle down but no to their woes the weather was getting more and more worse 1977 the 2nd of january it was the day when they had faced a lot of lot of uh, problems at 6 pm so it was like that they were like a dead bodies because author went inside the actually he drive inside the water with one of the large waves and he thought that he was going to die but not this he landed again onto the boat with that his teeth were broken his left ribs were broken he was bleeding but then also he went behind the steering wheel and 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 grab it with with his very found hand so that the position of the ship would not would not move here and there now students let's go with uh, with the next part of the summary he was holding the steering really very very hard but wherever he rolled his eyes everywhere he see water and water yes they were inside the water they were on to the travel voyage but inside the ship also the waves had been going again and again with the splashing of the water he was really very much concerned about the health of the other ones but he would not abandon abandon means to left or to leave to leave the the steering like that so he was positioning it like that he was holding it like that only but suddenly from the side door of one of the cabin his wife moved uh, moved out of that and she was in such a hurried and such a depression tone told him that they were going to die they were going to sink because boat had filled with a lot of water and that water was an alarming kind of the uh, thing for them the author was really very much in scrambled the author scrambled scrambled means he was mixed of the uh, that uh, uh, that things he was mixed of pain he was mixed of uh, depression he was mixed of regression about this voyage he wanted to go and see that what would they be do to save themselves if the repair would not have been done so hurriedly so then their ship would going to sink so he called his wife to grab that handle and she came there and he went went downstairs as soon as students he went downstairs means what he saw that was a terrible scene firstly he saw that herb and larry like a madman was was just pumping out the water water and secondly what the water was at that level that if he wanted his toolbox 
from the children's room that was from the children room he had to uh, means he had to do something else so what he did that he swim half of the time and then he crawled half of the time to uh, just to manage to uh, that uh, go to the uh, that room of uh, his children to fetch that or to get that the toolbox the toolbox he had something in his mind that he was going to cover the boat with a canvas with a waterproof sheet so that at least they would be saved from the water that was splashing through the waves okay so uh, he went out he went out but what happened that while he was swimming or while he was crawling means a uh, whole of the things they were carried with themselves were floating inside the water like the cutlery set clothes and tins and means the uh, children toys they were and they were sloshed they were actually making a noise when he was removing them them from his side and he at last reached the children room they were in a very casual way he asked to check out on them that whether they all were correct or they were all were in good health or not they both were so they said although they said yes suddenly susan told him that he, she had a great bump on her forehead but it was not a time for uh, for that author to babysit her how to baby said them okay so he heard it but he did not react on that thing he took he hold off his toolbox and canvas and then he went out because he was responsible for everyone's safety not only for his his that son or daughter's safety okay he went out and he spread the canvas on the boat but it was very difficult for him to spread it because the wind was really on its high tides okay now he had he had fixed it in the loops of the ship so that it would not get out of that loops one thing was being fixed by him one thing was being repaired by him but this was not at all means up to this thing so what he did he next i uh, mean uh, when he was thinking that everything would going to be okay temporarily it would be but everything going to be okay suddenly larry and her told him that due to the short circuit mm-hmm. that electric pump had stopped working they were not able to means uh, that uh, took out the water out of the ship because of that not only this was a problem the debris the left over material that was floating inside the water that was also blocking their way uh, to take out the water from the ship because they had actually blocked the pipe of the ship okay so suddenly he uh, means uh, he had memorized that that he had kept one extra pair of the electric pump and he went to the one of the chart uh, chart room where he had kept dinghies dinghies means the small open boats and where he had kept uh, that zip where he had there only he had what that uh, the pair of that electric pump okay now he went there after means he uh, that the open the chart room what he saw that everything was in mess nothing else was on its place that the dinghies were out of their place that jib was also not in its place and even that the very heavy electric pumps were out but it was not a time to uh, order it or to clear the mess so what he did he collected that electric pump and went inside and then fixed it with the pipe and there he started and then yes the electric pump was were uh, electric pump was yes working they were calling means again and again they were calling mayday now student what is mayday mayday is a sos warning or the signals warning signals given by the navigators to the nearby en route ship or to the anchoring department so that they would get the help as soon as possible sos means save our souls okay now student when this was happening happening he was trying hard on to the radio that equipment from where they could send the messages but that was not working and he knew it why it was not working because they were under the pressure of the weather and they were on to the remote side might be that's why the signals were not appropriate so made a calls were not at all fruitful to them they all were sitting outside under that canvas it was really cold outside but of course they have to pull out this night that was very long night that was uncomfortable night because cabins were totally filled with water 
everyone was doing their duty everyone was having suddenly the author came and and uh, that uh, sat beside besides the uh, his children and suddenly what he saw that was terrified him that suzanne that sue's head was really swelled out very very badly not only this her two eyes were totally totally uh, that uh, bluish in color as the blood clot was there okay not only this her one hand had a deep and a very long cut and then he asked her why she hadn't told her before that then she said that seven year old girl with a courage and that attitude that 15 year preparation had showed her to do uh, showed that her father that she did not want to want to made her worry because of her because he was already already doing a lot of things to save everyone else because it was his only duty to save everyone not to his children what comes next would they alive or would they die like that that i will tell you in my next video okay students but before we go let's have a look on to the today's sexual expression as i already told you that may they cause means distress caused given by a ship to secure help from other ships nearby means whenever any of the ship or the navigator is in problem they would call the other ship those who were near about for their rescue that is called medical calls okay then vocabulary the first is hatch hatch means a side door mary suddenly came out of hatch to tell the author that their ship was going to sink okay next is sloshed sloshed now to splash noisily whole of the things those were floating in the water were lost inside it okay i hope that this much of the video you people have understood i will be back soon but before i sign off students what you have to do yes like share and subscribe my youtube channel and please do not forget to ring the bell icon to get the notifications thanks these are the three questions from the summarized paragraph as an assignment number 3